So the project um, for the Silken Forest is, um, it's really a, a regeneration of an existing pine forest. Um, it is a, a large 160 hectare elevated site um, that has been you know, growing pine trees for the last you know, 30 years. Um, the client has decided to retire that forest um, and we're looking at uh, creating a large arboretum of sorts uh, that'll become the backdrop of Richmond. As part of um, you know, the site, we have a range of existing mountain bike trails um, and uh, you know, those have been you know, loved, cherished by the community over the last few years. Um, and so it'll be a continuation of development of, of those trails. Um, and uh, we'll also start to include some um, walking trails with the site as well. So our brief was to come up with a master plan um, of the site uh, that illustrated some of the intentions of uh, the client and, and the team. Um, the client has been working with uh, Appletons and primarily Robert Appleton um, to come up with a range of um, appropriate tree species um, for the site. Um, and so our task was really to illustrate um, how those species might be appropriate, appropriately designed uh, for you know, both the topography um, to create or you know, well, accentuate the topography um, and create a range of experiences for the users. Some of the inspiration came from um, the existing um, vegetation on site. There's a, there's a range of um, fairly um, you know, large uh, remnant um, native stands and gullies. So that really became um, the foundation for some of the, the native species that we have used. Um, but then some of the other inspiration has been, you know, the clients and their passion for, um, you know, trees. And uh, that has sort of played out in, in the creation of the Arboretum. So it really has been, um, you know, a creative process that has included them um, to you know, help create a significant arboretum for the site. Some of the challenges I think are probably largely to do with the scale of the site. We're dealing with 160 hectares of you know pretty uh, elevated and steep uh, hill country so it really has been um, trying to come up with some you know clear and easy methodology I suppose for the, the planting of the project um, but then also just trying to illustrate um, what a site that large will look like you know in five years, ten years, twenty years time. Um, and so we have used a, a range of um, you know digital technologies to help illustrate you know what the design will look like, and certainly the 3D modelling has been uh, yeah, really useful for that. We're all pretty passionate about it. I'm a, I'm a really passionate mountain biker, so I spend a bit of time out there you know personally just riding the trails. Um, and so you know from my perspective, it's been a, a really good opportunity to explore you know a large and significant site um, in, a, in a range of different ways you know I mean we're dealing with a site that is going to be the backdrop of Richmond so you know it's a, it's a bit of a painting of sorts that we uh, we get to play with on a large scale um, so there's that type of experience you know I, I travel into, into Nelson every day so it's, it is the backdrop that I see as I come into work um, but then all the way down to that detail level where you know we're playing with the experience of the riders and, and the walkers um, and um, you know being able to play with colour and texture and scale um, at that um, you know that ground level I suppose so it's pretty exciting on a, on a range of different levels yeah.